जेंडर इक्वालिटी इज अ मल्टीप्लायर ऑफ सस्टेनेबिलिटी फ्रॉम द एंशंट टाइम जेंडर इक्वालिटी हैज बीन एन इंक्लूसिव पार्ट ऑफ इंडियन सोसाइटी अर्ध नरेश्वर फ्रॉम शिवा फॉर शिवा इन इज इन इट्स सेल्फ टेस्टिमनी ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट नर मैन एंड नारी वुमेन आर कंप्लीमेंट टू ईच अदर एंड विदाउट वन सस्टेनेंस ऑफ अदर इज नॉट ओनली डिफिकल्ट बट इम्पॉसिबल आइडिया ऑफ जेंडर इक्वालिटी इज मोर रिलेवेंट इन टूडेज कंटेक्सट ऑफ ग्लोबलाइज वर्ल्ड वेयर इक्वालिटी इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पिलर फॉर अचीविंग सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट एंड इन दिस कंटेक्सट जेंडर इक्वालिटी कैन नॉट बी सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द ब्रॉड कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ इक्वालिटी एसेंस ऑफ सस्टेनेबिलिटी लाइज इन द सोसाइटी दैट सस्टेन्स इट्स डेवलपमेंट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टर्म इन अ ब्रॉडर सेंस सस्टेनेबिलिटी इज और सस्टेनेबिलिटी इन इट सेल्फ कंटेन वेरियस डायमेंशंस रेंजिंग फ्रॉम इकोनॉमिक पोलिटिकल एनवायरमेंटल टू सोसाइटल डायमेंशंस वेयर इंक्लूसिविटी equality and universality are at the heart of it and it is very much correct that inclusivity cannot be issued or ensured by sliding or sidelining nearly half of the population development at one hand can be achieved by sustainable intervention at educational level economic level and societal level or societal aspect but it will be challenging to sustain it without considering the or uh, considering men and women equal partners in both achieving this development and appraising the fruits of development while discussing about gender equality and sustainability one can go ahead with a narrow approach of considering men and women as equal partners but is but in a wider sense gender in itself not restricted to only two faces and discussion would be rather incomplete without considering all the aspects of genders the third gender transgenders constitute a significant portion of world's population and it is in, it is irony of the present world that they are the most neglected ones they have been an important part of the society from the very ancient times many instances in indian mythology have appreciated their valuable contribution in the society success of pandavas in the mahabharat was only ensured after the 10th day of war when they were able to defeat pitama bhishma with the help of sikhandi though sikhandi was a transgender but he has or he was considered equal and gained due importance in mahabharat in present context also it is required to uplift the conditions of transgender by suitable legislation legislative uh, legislation and legislative administrative and societal actions recent rights of transgenders person bill seems rights of transgender person bill seems a step in right direction provided that concern of the community are well addressed through expeditious resolution of their grievances analyzing the link between gender equality and sustainability through philosophy various 
philosophies in ancient India were formulated in order to understand the meaning of life, afterlife and salvation and to their uh, way to achieve this. One such philosophy is Samakhya philosophy, which has emphasized on the complementary role of Purusha and Prakriti in achieving salvation. As per the philosophy, Purusha and Prakriti are mutually coexisting and one cannot separate it or separate former from the later. In present context, Purusha can be equated to man and Prakriti to woman and it should be noted that in order to achieve end goal of sustainability, complementing role of different genders need to be emphasized or appraised. Philosophy and ideology of Nari, Nari the Nyayi, Narayani, Nari, Nari the Narayani in itself strengthening the concept of gender equality. Gender equality as a sustainability or sustainable multiplier in today's world. Countries which have given due emphasis on gender equality are on the top ranks in human development index. Examples of Norway, Sweden, Finland, Iceland can be very well taken here. Quality of life, reach of development in these countries can be positively correlated with strong emphasis gain or given to gender equality. In these countries, even Sweden has came out with a feminist foreign policy. Even in this context of India, even in the context of India too, it can be seen that achievement of higher growth rate in 21st century can be correlated with concept of gender based budgeting. Equality or equating all gender differently multiplies our outcome in all the dimensions. Women form the backbone of our houses. She has been called homemakers in the sense that she is the one who actually makes home an abode. Focusing on more equality in education will lead to improvement in quality of education. It has always been seen that a mother invest more time in taking care of their children and thus quality of education and intellect of a child, child multiplier based on intellectual capability of his mother. Thus, it would be very rational to say that investing in education or educational equality of gender will ensure a rapid rise in increased quality of education. Today, labor force participation rate has been skewed in favor of man. This has been, arbit uh, this has been attributed to the patriarchal mindset issues related to safety and security of women, timing related issues and many more. But on the contrary, it has been observed that a woman spend more in the productive activities as compared to men. Better outcomes in terms of nourishment, health and development of family are seen in those households where women in working as Women is working as compared to those which have non-working women. Thus, emphasizing more in equality of labor force will result in improved development outcomes. Apart from education and employment, political empowerment of women hold an equal importance. After, country, after constitutionalization of Panchayati Raj institution, it has been ensured that 33% of seats are to be reserved for women in panch 
panchayats at all the three levels this has led to better development indices of villages overall without considering and gender without considering a gender while policy making it is very much possible that legislation are skewed in favor of one community due to their over representation in legislature in order to ensure gender equality it is important to provide women due emphasis at national level politics though political scenario in india as well as world is chan- uh, changing and women have shown more pos- uh, more proactive role in every sphere nirmala sitaraman as finance minister dealing with financial affairs of the country and amit shah as the home minister dealing with the internal affairs in a tight slap is a tight slap to the patriarchal mindset that women should took affairs or uh, took after internal affairs of ho house and men should go out and manage financial matter but still world in general and india in particular is far away from achieving a true sense of gender equality though enrollment ratio of both boys and girls have shown a rapid growth in primary education but still enrollment in secondary or in higher uh, education stream that is science technology engineering and mathematics are skewed in favor of men at one hand political empowerment of women has been ensured through reservation on the other hand husbands of those women exercising dominance in political affairs paints a dire picture it is the need of the r to have transformation or transformative reforms in political administrative and societal affairs to achieve gender equality in order to sustain the present development women okay now women self help group need to be encouraged as well as ngo and civil society organization working for the cause of women need to be strength okay cause of women need to be strengthened further moving ahead need to be strengthened further moving ahead it it needed to be ensured that every policy and scheme should give due focus toward gender equality nari as adi shakti is creator sustainer and destroyer of the world in the form of mother she give birth to a child and in the form of kali and durga she is destroyer of evil thus gender just society is a true sense in a true sense a multiplier of sustainability